Hey boo, this is Nika, and I'm pleasantly unbothered. Thank you so much for joining me for this video. Here on my channel, I share with you all of the lessons and tips and tricks of how I went from being an unhappy and insecure, self-conscious person to being a lot more comfortable in my skin, much more self-assured, much more self-aware, just much more happy with life, pleasantly unbothered type of chick. You know what I mean. <laughs> I gotta say, it's the best feeling in the world to love yourself and to feel worthy for the first time in your life you know so my goal is to help as many people get this feeling as possible to try to help as many people get to this side as possible so come with me if you're not here yet let's go Today I have a message to share with you that's been on my heart for some time now and I'm just now getting my voice back from some stuff that was going on <laughs> so I'm gonna try to keep this brief but that message is to stop wasting your life girl or boy or boo you know <laughs> stop wasting your life okay i work with seniors in my professional life i'm actually in the parking lot of my job right now hello okay i work with seniors in my professional life and if i learned anything from my clients is that we cannot waste time there is absolutely nothing wrong with aging i'm a big fan of being happy about living longer and stronger and happier lives as we get older and not being obsessed with youth and all of that but at the same time i feel like we have to appreciate as much youth as we do have because right now in this moment is the youngest that we are ever 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 gonna be ever again <laughs> so me and all my 30 years that's sitting here right now this is the youngest that i'm ever gonna be and one day i am gonna wake up and well hopefully god willing and be 65 and 70 years old and 80 years old you know what i mean life can be so short but it can also be incredibly incredibly long and it is too long for us to be spending it feeling unhappy feeling insecure feeling unworthy feeling like we're the runt of the litter or the black sheep or the ugly duckling or whatever the case is it's too long to be living with that struggle with that suffering with those feelings with that self-loathing and i'm telling you because i've been there <laughs> okay i've been there and i've talked a lot about this on my channel so far so there are plenty of videos about this so life is absolutely too long for us to be dreading you know what's coming next and for us to be unhappy and suffering the whole time at the same time though life is so short that like no moment is promised you know this right now in this moment right here steering wheel and all <laughs> like this is all we got right now you your physical self your mental self who you are in this moment this is all you have control over so stop wasting time waiting for something to happen before you let yourself start living your life stop wasting time waiting to hit some kind of milestone or trying to accomplish a weight loss goal stop holding yourself back and putting your life on hold waiting for some new person to appear some new version of yourself to appear that's gonna build this life that you want that's not how it works <laughs> so every minute that you waste feel Feeling bad or if well I mean feeling bad it happens and we talked about this a lot too but every every moment that you allow yourself to play the victim you know to take that losing seat to say oh woe is me my life is so hard I'm never gonna be anything good I'm never gonna be worthy no one's ever gonna love me no one's ever gonna want me no one's ever gonna think I'm smart enough no one's ever gonna appreciate me no one's ever gonna see me the way that I see myself or the way that I want to see myself. Hell, maybe I'll never learn to love myself. You know, instead of sitting and wallowing in those feelings, at some point we absolutely have to take control and take a hold of our lives and decide what we wanna do next with our lives so that we're absolutely making the most of every single minute that we get, that we're not taking things for granted, that we're not wasting time. Not all that long ago, I was someone who was waiting to lose weight. So I would put everything on hold, putting my life on hold until I lost weight. I spent over 20 years of my life waiting to start living it waiting to get permission to be happy waiting for people to see this person that i've always been on the inside that i never thought my physical appearance quite reflected properly you know waiting for for something else for anything else for a different body for a different image for a different face for clear skin for like just for for ridiculous stuff you know and a lot of superficial stuff when i really think about it and i feel like we can be so obsessed with the image of what we look like or what other people look like and we put so much value on that you know we judge people so quickly based on their appearance someone looks good and it's like ooh, 
they must have their life together. Or, ooh, I want some of that. And you don't know what's going on past those good looks. You know, these are such superficial things. And we're putting so much emphasis on what we look like as our identity versus it just being our outward appearance. Like, it's just, it's just something we see. <laughs> you know, this isn't the whole package. What you see is not all of me. I minimize my whole life to me being this insecure person in a fat shell that was never gonna be able to be a happy person because of my appearance. Everything else, I thought I had it going on. Like personality wise, I'm like, girl, you know? And and in a way, and this might be a little controversial, I don't know. But in a way, I almost feel like my personality developed a bit more than some people that I know. I think partially because I felt like I couldn't how do I put this? Oh my gosh. It was almost like I felt like my body wasn't my strong suit. And so I developed my personality almost to compensate for it. It sounds so bad and I don't even know if I can find the right words. <laughs> but if you know what I'm saying, let me know in the comments down below. You know, I feel like sometimes we can use our appearance as a crutch, you know, and good looking people can sometimes lean into that to the point that like, that's their one and only strong suit. Not everybody, that's what I'm saying. I know this could be controversial. I'm not bashing anybody or judging or nothing. I'm just saying that there are perks that come with being viewed as attractive. You know what I mean? And it's also ridiculous because it's just an appearance, first of all, but we put so much weight into that. And I have for years, years, you know, most of my life. And I have allowed things like that to make me or to let me or to cause me, or to give me the excuse of <laughs> wasting time. Because <sighs> until I looked a certain way, I wasn't allowed to be happy. Until I was a certain size, I wasn't allowed to start living my life. And that was so ridiculous because I might not have made it here. What if I was still waiting for this miraculous life to come around, for this skinny body to come around so that I could start being happy and I dropped dead or got hit by a car before then? Like, what if I lived every day of my life and I died feeling, man, this got grim. <laughs> but think about it. Like, tomorrow is not guaranteed. This next second is not guaranteed. This next word I'm about to say is not guaranteed. Things are happening. People get ill. Accidents happen. People just be driving along along their business, having the rest of their day, their week, their month, their year planned out. And some of them never make it there. Life can be so, so, so short. Stop wasting time. And if we're lucky and life turns out to be long, you don't wanna have to look back knowing that you wasted so much of that time. I'm so frustrated with myself for wasting two thirds of my life over two thirds of my life, <laughs> just feeling so down on myself, feeling so self-conscious, feeling so judgmental about myself, against myself. And so if you can relate to any of those feelings, if you are overly hard on yourself, if you get super down on yourself, if you beat yourself up mentally, physically, or otherwise, if you let other people beat you up mentally, physically, or otherwise, stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it. Life is too short and it is too long. So don't, don't don't nobody got time for that. <laughs> I cannot tell you how much my life has improved since I learned to embrace myself and stop hating myself and stop holding things against myself and to stop being such a harsh critic of myself. There are not enough words. I'm gonna keep making these videos, so hopefully I'm gonna be able to tell you. If you haven't experienced this feeling, I just want you to. I want you to feel it for yourself. I don't wanna have to tell you the words. I want you to be here or get here if you're not yet so that we could be like, girl, ain't this good? Like, ooh, this feels Feels nice. You know, I spent so long struggling and suffering a lot of times at my own hands, you know, making myself suffer, keeping myself down. And now to, to finally embrace myself and to, to be one with myself. Ooh, this is getting hippie to be now. <laughs> but to, to finally feel like I understand that this is me. This is who I got. This person that I see in the mirror, in my reflection, this is who I am. There is no other version of Nika hidden deep down inside of me. This is all me. The personality, the looks, the body, the flaws, the perfections, everything, it's all a part of me. This is what I got. And life seriously opened up the second that I embraced that and made peace with that. Stop waiting, stop waiting. Get up and do it. Get up and go for it. Stop waiting. I recently finished reading the book 
Eat That Frog by Brian Tracy. It's a highly recommended, inspirational, motivational, get it done, boss lady type of book. Well, I guess he's a man, so you know, boss status type of book. <laughs> and I was like, Eat That Frog, like what? What kind of book? But it's basically a book that helps you go after your goals so that you can accomplish the things that you want to get done. And I'm somebody that has dealt with procrastination along with all the other issues that I just mentioned. Procrastination on top of that making me feel like oh I'll do it tomorrow oh I'll put it off till tomorrow oh I don't feel like it right now I'll, I'll get started or whatever tomorrow and the book is basically a way to help you stop that ish it's a step-by-step -step guide to helping you overcome your own mental roadblocks the actual roadblocks that might be around you and the people that might be interfering with you or your goals so that you can actually accomplish what you need to get done and I gotta say it seems so simple it was a pretty quick read and I was doubtful at first but I'm like, Mr. Tracy, you wanted something. I can see why this is so highly recommended. <laughs> so if that's something that I can pass along to you as well, check that out. If you have like an audiobook subscription, if you have a library, if you have a bookstore or Kindle or something, check it out. It's called Eat That Frog by Brian Tracy. Highly recommended, not just by myself, but just about everybody else that's accomplished things with their life. And I can see why, you know, so stop waiting take a lesson from my life, from my seniors' lives, from Mr. Brian Tracy. Just stop waiting. Get up, get things done. Tomorrow's not promised. If you want something, you better get started on it today, right now. Get up. Finish this video, of course, you know, do the likes and thumbs ups and subscribe first, you know, get that done and then get up <laughs> and get going on what you need to be doing, you know, get going on living your life, get going on the things that are most important to you that are going to make you happy, that are going to make you feel like you spent this moment the best way you possibly could. Get up, get going. Come on, let's go. I got to get back to work. So let's all go. <laughs> Anyhow, thank you so much for joining me for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please do the thumbs up thing before you head out. Also, leave me a comment letting me know what you think. As always, I'd love to hear your thoughts and I respond to every single comment. My voice is starting to go again, so I guess I've really, really got to go this time. But I hope I'll see you in my next video. Bye.